Hi guys, so I just did my makeup and I was gonna do like a get ready with me video but then I was like, no, we need to talk about something more serious and that's my mental health and you guys, I'm, I, I don't know how to tell you this but you guys actually are my therapist. I do pay you weekly and if you guys are not getting your checks, email my business manager. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while now and that's the fact that I hate myself. <laughs> I got this shirt from a thrift store for a dollar. You heard me right. 99 cents, AKA a dollar. It says, we're back. And I kind of like that because it's like, we're back. Like I just, um, I like to think of that, like my depression speaking, my anxiety, like honey, we're back. <laughs> you thought you were gonna go out with your friends? Nope, sorry, you're gonna lay in bed and cry because we're back. <laughs> mm. So uh, I cried myself to sleep last night. It was actually very interesting because people talk about crying themselves to sleep a lot. It's like a common phrase, like, oh, I cry myself to sleep. And the thing is, it actually helps you sleep. <laughs> so if you have trouble sleeping, just cry. I kind of live on social media and it's like, not in the way, not in the sense that like I post a lot. It's more like I compare myself to everyone. And I know that everyone does this, but I do it to an extent where like, it's not healthy and I kind of just wanted to talk about that and how um how I don't like myself so I compare myself to everyone and I am so tired of looking at people on social media looking at people in real life and wishing that I wasn't myself I'm constantly saying to myself Mia why are you so sensitive why do you care so much like just why do you give a fuck about what other people think and the truth is I care so much about what other people think of me so so much you could walk up to me on the street and tell me you didn't like my shirt and I'd burn it I'd give it to you and I'd say you can burn it for me you do the honors a complete stranger I don't want to make a stranger a stranger uncomfortable I care that much about what other people think of me in high school I would purposely act stupid to make friends with the popular girls because they thought it was really funny when I acted dumb. So I would act stupid and I would try to make myself seem dumber than I actually was because I wanted them to like me. And it worked for a period of time until they stopped talking to me. So for the past like year and a half, I've been at a place where I've just been comparing myself to everybody on social media and to the point where I'm becoming like bitter. Um, like I see something successful that someone's done and I'm mad. I'm like, they don't deserve that. <laughs> like, I'm becoming angry because I s don't like myself so much that I'm taking it out on other people. If you experience this, let me know because I just feel so kind of alone in this. You see someone else out partying and you start thinking, well, I did have a party last night, but it was a party of one, if you know what I mean. Um, Netflix, tears, and uh, some Doritos. I wish there was a pill I could take that would make me like myself, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I think it's an ongoing process. I think people who don't like themselves don't wake up one day and suddenly love themselves. I think it's an ongoing process and it depends, you know, the length of time that it takes is different for each person, but I'm just, I'm in this period where I'm like really, really trying to come to terms with who I am and come to terms with my weaknesses and my strengths and all of that. And it's kind of making me hate myself even more. <laughs> I am a sensitive person and I am melodramatic and I'm emotional and all of that. And um, yeah, I'm just so tired of not liking who I am. But yeah, it's like, why, why do I do this? Like, do I want to be happy? Like, why am I constantly comparing myself to other people like I'm my own person I should just be okay with that you know I should just be able to take that with a grain of salt and be able to realize that hey you're never going to be this person Mia you're your own person and that's okay but I can't I can't handle that and then I start taking the personalities of other people and making them my own because I think that people will like me more if I act like somebody else it's taken me a long time to finally be okay with acting like myself because I constantly think I'm not funny enough or I'm not pretty enough. I just, there's so many things that I'm not enough of and I just want to find what I am enough. Wait. <laughs> there's so many things I'm not enough of and I want to find 
but I am enough. What the fuck am I trying to say? I just want to like myself and I just, I'm really tired of waiting. And if anybody has a pill that can make me look myself in the mirror, be able to like myself, that would be, uh, that'd be great. Also validation from others is so important for me, especially if you don't like me, it's going to make me want your validation 10 times more. Um, <laughs> And it's so stupid and it's like everybody's their own person everybody has issues but I just I constantly want to not be who I am and I know like it's just it angers me people's responses to this because sometimes I tell people this and they'll say like oh well like comparing yourself to other people doesn't help anything you're your own person like really Really? I'm my own person? Well, I also need to drink water, so those are two facts that I already knew. There's just... This is an issue where it's like... <sighs> the advice that you get from other people on it is so unhelpful. And it's kind of like if you have a broken arm and it's in a cast, there's nothing you could do. You just have to wait for it to heal. And that's kind of like where I'm at. I'm just kind of like waiting for myself to heal and I'm waiting... I I'm waiting to come to terms with liking who I am. And, you know, there's no advice anybody can give me that will solve this issue. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. And I think the last time I liked myself, like, fully, was probably when I was like six. <laughs> this is really depressing. I'm sorry. I just wanted you guys to know that if you feel this way, you're not alone. And, um, yeah. So, subscribe.